One of my favorite ways to hunt is hunting alone. I do a lot of backcountry hunts alone. And the reason that I like hunting alone is there's a type of instantaneous decision making that happens. You don't have to talk to anyone. You don't have to discuss a plan. You just do whatever feels natural, whatever feels right. Starting out solo hunting, just take day trips, take it easy. Go on a small hunt by yourself and get used to the fact of being alone and relying on your skills. From there, you can kind of graduate into longer trips, maybe not necessarily backcountry trips, but short weekend getaways where you're hunting by yourself. Then take it a step further, pack up your things and try a backcountry hunt. The more you graduate, the more you do it, the more comfortable you're gonna be alone. So it's the best way in my mind to advance your hunting skills. When you're hunting alone, there's a few problems that you don't run into when you're hunting with other people. One of them is there isn't as many people to help glass and to be looking around. Oftentimes when I'm hunting by myself, I kind of feel like there's too much country for just me to look over. So what I do is I end up looking here and looking there and not picking one spot and glassing it diligently. So something to think about if you decide to go solo hunting or hunting by yourself, just accept the fact that there may be too much country to glass. So you're better off picking a spot and glassing it and working that area diligently than trying to be all places at once. If you're doing a backpack hunt alone, you run into the problem that you're the only person there to carry your gear. So you really need to refine your gear setup and get a lightweight system that works for you, something that you can manage and carry and still possibly be able to pack out an animal with most of your gear. For solo backpack hunts, I like to find the lightest gear possible. I also like to tweak my setup after every trip. If I had something in my pack that I didn't use, maybe next time I won't bring it. I like to really look at my gear and think of multiple uses for each piece of equipment. The more uses I have for something, the more it deserves a spot in my pack. Another thing is if it feels lonely or you're out there and things aren't going right, at night, build a fire. Fires, for some reason, are extremely comforting when you're alone. Another thing is you just gotta keep a positive mental attitude. If things don't go your way, you just gotta shrug it off because you're by yourself. You don't have anyone to communicate the struggles of the day with or laugh things off with. So you just gotta take things with a grain of salt. Also, if you run into some kind of adversity, think it out, stay calm and don't panic. It's easy to panic when you're alone because you don't have anyone else to help you. So you gotta really assess the situation, rely on your skills and know that you have the ability to get yourself out of whatever you got into.